us his recipe for malafunction salsa. Yeah, and uh, basically it's not much different than any uh, regular kind of salsa, but I have my handy ninja blender, which is really great uh, because you use simple ingredients and you put it all in there and mix it up and it comes out pretty all right. And for my malafunction salsa, I've got uh, one basket of cherry tomatoes and I've also uh, quartered a uh, regular tomato. It's actually a Roman tomato for those of you uh, keeping track at home. And I just pour it in there like that, all right? And uh, I've got the juice of one lemon in there just to provide a little bit of tang. And I always make sure that I salt my tomatoes because I don't know where you buy your tomatoes, but mine don't come salted. <laughs> so you season that uh, liberally. And uh, I put in a little cumin. Now, it's pronounced cumin, not cumin. I Googled it. And uh, it kind of provides a smoky flavor, you know, because a, right. a lot of times with salsa, people like to roast the tomatoes or the peppers, but we don't have time to do that because we want to make things that are easy to eat on Super Bowl Monday so we can spend more time getting blossom. All right, and uh, cilantro is something a lot of people use in their salsa, but I've got some organic homegrown Thai basil oh. that I grew on the side of my house, and it's got that same kind of kick, but uh, it's a little different, you know, and it's uh, just a, adds a little color as well. So I put that in there, the Thai basil, and then here I've got half a red onion and four cloves of garlic. Now, can you add more garlic yeah. if you're yeah if you're, it's up lover. to you if you really love garlic go ahead and put like 10 cloves in there okay. if you want to use white onion that's fine too i kind of use the red onion just to do something a little different you know and the uh, chili powder now i'm actually making two batches here one that's kind of tame maybe for the kids so you just put a little bit of that chili powder in there it gives it that uh mexican flavor if you will <laughs> all the way and then because the garlic and the red onion and the chili powder it has a lot of uh, bite to it I like to put a little bit of honey just to kind of soften things up. You know, they oh. say a spoonful of honey helps the medicine go down. Yeah. I think so, it's sugar, but yeah. it's sweet. It's sweet. It's you get sweet. the point. Yeah. Like I told my kids the other night, hey, honey is not sugar. If that makes any sense. Yeah. Yeah, not really. So about how many, I guess? Uh, you just squeeze the heck out of the honey for a, <laughs> do about, you know, about 20 circles or so around the blender. All right. And then that's uh, good to go. And you know, uh, having three kids, this Ninja Blender, which I ordered on uh, TV, comes in really handy because you just shove everything in there and you mix it up, smoothies or whatever, and you got time to do stuff for the kids. So let's go ahead and uh, pulse it. They say on the, you know, on TV, just go like that, but I like to just. Ah, really let it rip, you know. Can you make it like super smooth or uh, your preference again? It, yeah, it's really up to you, you know. If you uh, can afford a high power bill, you just blend that sucker all day. <laughs> but so uh, what, what I've got here is the tame version, and this is kind of for the kitties. Mm -hmm. I mean, look at that. Wow. That's just really. It's a nice color. It is. It's very pink. So I pour about half of that in there. And then uh, what makes them out of function is for the grown ups, you know. Uh -oh. A lot of people don't like hot and they're sissies, but. Us uh, Tremors, especially from the South, really like hot, so I've got some organic dunny that I grew uh, myself, and I'm going to put about one, two, three, four, ten in there. <laughs> All right, and then we're just going to close that sucker up, and then... I think I'm going to aim for this one right here. Did you try yes. it? I'm not calling you a sissy. Oh, okay. of course not. So, boom, shaka -laka. And that should be it. That's probably about good. We'll let Jason taste this. <laughs> and then I'm going to pour that one in there, and... Just like that, yeah. Bada boom, bada bing. And I, I can, can smell the pepper. Yeah, it smells it really good. It's very Ooh. aromatic, you know. That and the garlic. Yeah, I can smell. really yeah. a lot of punch. And let's hope that honey, uh, you know, softens up. And also, you know, you always want to taste it because a lot of times with the uh, salt just adds a little more flavor and it kind of brings everything else out. So uh, I know you got some drinks here. Yes, well, everyone has been sharing the recipes. So I thought um, I would share a couple of mine to wash everything down. Yeah, because the Super Bowl is definitely about drinking. <laughs> it's not about winning or losing, it's about drinking. So I had made two drinks that are um, both Niners inspired and Ravens inspired. And the first one is called the Big Red and um, Niners inspired. So you would need uh, pineapple juice, uh, apple vodka, or if you're, um, or any fruit infused vodka, uh, guava juice and grenadine. Wow. And what it is, is it, you take two parts of vodka, two parts of the pineapple juice, two parts of the uh, guava juice and one part of the grenadine and of course you can alter it if you want more alcohol you can totally do that put it in a cocktail shaker full of ice and you shake that shake it up 
thank you to Kevin for giving me the uh, shaker. And you pour it in over a glass half filled way with ice. Wow. And that is your big red. Yeah, definitely Niners all the way. <laughs> now for you Ravens fans, uh, all 10 of you, we have the Ravens Punch, which is basically light rum, um, about two parts uh, light rum, uh, two parts of the apple, sparkling apple cider. Oh, we oui, wee. Oui. <laughs> two parts, I mean, one part of the uh, grenadine and um, lemonade. It could be fresh or it could be the canned. And basically what you would do is you would um, layer it. So you would do, it's about two parts. I think the Ravens are probably gonna need to put a little <laughs> more rum in there on Super Bowl Monday. And you would do two parts of the uh, apple cider. Oh. This is what gives it its purple color. Popping bottles yeah. up in here, Joan. And then you would do the lemonade, and you know you can again you can it's eyeball it. And about a little bit of grenadine. Wow. So yeah. we can see we got the red for the Niners and the purple for the other team that sucks. But that, yeah. <laughs> and you would stir this. It's stir really well. And since you've already made your, your choice, yes. I'll give you the Niners. Yes, big Niners red. All the way. I've been a Niners fan for a long time, like since about last week, or since I found out the <laughs> boss loves them. Niners. And of course, you can you can uh, catch the Super Bowl 47 on TV 11 at 9.30 a.m. Kick off 9.30 a.m. All right, Joe, all right. my name's Malfunction. Cheers. Cheers. Good night. Closed caption.